Hey guys, welcome back. We are moving into step 1412. Step 1412 is all about restricting formats and editing. In previous steps, we learned how to password protect a document and also restrict access to users to make edits and changes to the document. So now we will focus on restricting formats and edits. So when you choose to allow others to make revisions and add comments, you can still be selected about who is allowed to make edits as well as the type of edits that they can make after setting the restrictions. So that's what we're going to move into right now. Step 1412, we need to access our Ergonomics 3 file. Remember, we're going to go to Lesson 14 and access Ergonomics 3. Double click to open. And this time, we will save, save, save by going to File and Save As. And save in the document as Ergonomic 6. So I'm simply going to change my 3 and add a 6 and save. Again, it gives us that same dialog box that basically tells us that we are saving our versions from 2007 to 2010. Click OK. Now, primarily for this step, we will be living on our review tab. So let's click review. And in previous steps, we've worked through proofing group, language group, comments group, tracking group, changes group, and now we're going to be in the protect group. Let's toggle on restrict editing. Notice when you toggle on restrict editing, edit, you get a restrict formatting and editing dialog box. So we're going to go through and look at the settings. Under step Two, number two, let's check the box editing restrictions. Notice when you check the box, it gives us options to drop down on. Let's look at the track changes. So, under track changes, basically, track changes option allows reviewers to make revisions and also add comments to the document just like we've learned to track change in the previous past. Notice when I add text to my document, it's red, it's underlined, I have my track change line, and I can also get the screen tip that represents track change. Let's delete that. Let's drop down and select the next option. Well, let's select Yes, let's select comments. Under the comment feature, new exception options are displayed. With the comments option enabled, you can make exceptions and allow specified reviewers to edit all a part of the document. So the next thing we'll look at is filling in forms. So drop down. Select Filling in Forms. Under Filling in Forms, users are able to enter information into form fields such as text boxes, check boxes, and lists. So when this option is enabled, exceptions are made that are not available and users cannot track changes or add comments. Let's select the No Changes Read Only. So notice when we do that, it gives us a box that includes everyone. Check everyone. Now let's scroll over to our document and select the first three paragraphs. Notice the check box disappears. Let's check it again. Click outside of your selection. Notice that when you click outside of your selection, the text looks as though it's highlighted. Click in the last paragraph. 
and space. And notice it allows us to track changes. Click in the text that we selected in space, and it, is, and it allows us to track changes. So now that we have selected three paragraphs within our document, and when you uncheck the box, notice our selection disappears. But I'm going to select it again and check the box. Then this time I am going to click Start Enforcement to apply the settings that we just changed. Click the box. When you click the box, it asks for a password in order to start enforcing the protection. Now remember, passwords are case sensitive, so you're going to enter the password exactly as I say. The number 8, the number 9, shift asterisk, which is shift 8, uppercase A, shift, the number 8 for asterisk, the number 0, 4, shift 8 for asterisk, the number 1, 1, and backspace located under your question mark. We need to enter the password a second time to confirm the number 8, the number 9, shift 8 for asterisk, uppercase A, shift 8 for asterisk, the number 0, the number 4, shift 8 for asterisk, the number 1, the number 1, and backspace under your question mark and OK. Obviously I confirmed that I entered the password in twice and I have started protecting the document. It says this document is protected from unintentional edit. You may freely edit in this range. When we click outside we still get our selection that allows you to make edits. When you click within the paragraph that is not selected. I'm pressing my space key. I'm clicking on letters on my keyboard and I cannot make changes to this area. You try. Click within the paragraph that has not been selected and space. Press keys on your keyboard and notice you are unable to edit this portion of your document. However, when I click within the selection of the document, I can space, I can type a new word with, and make whatever changes within this portion of the document that you allow to be edited. That's how we allow access to certain parts of our documents. If you wanted to stop protection, you would simply click stop protection and enter the same password as we entered in the beginning to stop protection on the document. You have now successfully learned how to restrict format and edits within certain parts of a document.